so in this time uh, this is the one kind of uh, work for the drought monitoring and in this time mm -hmm. uh, we are used at the lot of parameter for identify the uh, drought uh, monitor okay suppose extreme severe moderate low high these type of things we just use it so in this time here you can see one parameter spi okay so standard yes, precipitation sir. index so in this time you just only perform this parameter spi and mm -hmm. monitor the drought okay so in this time vsi pdsi or soil moisture it's not need in this time we are just focus only for that spi yes, standard precipitation index and then identify the rainfall pattern and also identify the drought what is the yes, condition sir based on uh -huh. SPI, only SPI. Uh -huh. okay, nice. um, uh, what can you recommend, sir? Is it better to add more indices or? Yeah, so in this time, enough, when yeah. you want to make the more better uh, drought condition, actually, drought is different, uh, other parameter also, not only uh -huh. for the precipitation, as well as soil moisture, it's very uh, important factor for drought, as well as vegetation health index, or PDSI index, this type of index are very important for the drought. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's why if, if you want in your method, if you want, you can also add here the soil moisture or PDSI index or BSI index, then we create the very better and we can very great, uh, accurate, uh, mainly accurate hazard and identify about that uh, drought monitoring map. Okay, mm -hmm. but SPI is also okay, no problem. So in this time, uh, SPI uh, mainly rainfall. Okay, so yeah, it's, yeah. Also, it's a it's a major it's a major factor for that um, growth. Okay, and other factor is also okay, no problem. If you want, you can simply add the SPI, then it is also possible to make the published so, paper or scientific paper. SPI is also okay for the standard precipitation index. So is it? Um, I guess we will just focus on SPI since. We have um, local, local data, data so, so we can check yeah. the data also because if now we now add we the add soil the moisture, moisture, then we will have, have more work to acquire, to acquire the data, data yes. ground data for that. Yes, it's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for that, you have already local data. So that's why you can yeah. easily uh, create the SPI as well as uh, yeah, it's also very important for that very, uh, your uh, testing or validation using your local yeah, data you can also yes. do it validation okay okay so first of all uh what's your region okay is uh, uh, do, you, do you create any boundary shape file yet or not uh we, uh, we have a uh, boundary shape file sir i will share it okay Maybe. you can also share with me and all right, uh, all right. okay no problem then i also try to okay and how many data are you uh, are you have um, um we are planning uh time period sir from 20, uh, 2014, 2014 to 2020, 2020 sir. 2022 2024 uh, 2014 to 2020 of precipitation okay, later. okay 2014 to 20 20 yes so this time period okay so um in this time you just use the uh, your uh, ground truth data or you want to use any other types of um we would like to use the gpm i merge data rainfall data and then um, and then the ground data will be just used for um validation of the gpm data the okay, global precipitation measurement data you want to use gpm yes okay so gpm okay no problem gpm is also available in google earth engine platform g global precipitation measurement you can yes, also yeah. use it for that and calculate the SPI, okay. But uh, this code I use the charts data sure, set, sure. yeah. Yes, for sure. that, uh, global GPM data set is also okay, no problem, okay. And uh, 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 yeah, is chirps data better than GPM, sir? What would you recommend? Okay, mainly GPM, uh, it's the global precipitation measurement yes, data sir. set, and this data set is mainly you can see this resolution is that uh mainly 11132 meter 
okay 11000 mm -hmm. and when you can see about the charge data or painted data charge painted data here we can go out the data set is that 5000 uh okay. that's why so, you so, you, yeah. you mean new strips data sir yeah so that's why in this time this resolution pixel uh, resolution uh, is high than global precipitation measurement okay so that's why i think charts data set is better than gpm because gpm is the 11000 and charts mm -hmm. data set only for the 5000 meter so then why we, we get the better result than gpm when so you would you, you you would recommend the strips data yes, data set yes 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 okay so, so yeah we'll yeah, think, think about, about it also, also because on our paper, we on our paper, uh, proposal, we suggested to use the GPM data instead of chirps. Yes. What? Okay. So you try to use the chirps data series better for that because chirps data is the uh, high resolution than GPM. Okay. Sir. Yes, chirps data set you want to use. Yeah, and then uh, if that, that we will, will we want to make our paper better. So if we'll use chirps, then we need to uh, revise, revise our paper, paper for, for for that. For that. But since we want what our results, results to be better, be better. I, think I think we'll think, we'll about, think about that because I'm I'm working with my partner. We are two in this project. this project. Okay, no problem. No problem. But for now, I guess we. We just um, do chirps. Um, okay, no problem. And anytime you can change it, no problem. Because just simply uh, change the data set, then it will be work uh -huh. for the easily. We can change it in Google Earth Engine platform. No problem. Okay, sir. Sure. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. And you also send me your boundary, your study area. Then uh, in this time, uh, we also need about that and other things. The another thing is that your short time period and long time period start time period okay so basically in this time uh for that uh you can see for that uh, we have to need the latest and mm -hmm. one is our suppose uh we have to create the two time period data set for the spi or calculated that mainly your uh precipitation spi map okay we have to create the two things one is that mainly short time period Okay, suppose you can see in this time we can create the short time period is that uh 2007 to 2018 this time period will it is the latest time period select that and uh -huh. our main work for this time period uh 1998 to 2018. Mm. okay um, in, so in there we will change it to 2014 to 2020 yeah, no problem no problem you cannot set it so you can send me your boundary as well as you can also send me your time period short time period long time period then i try to make the spi map for your study area and further make the time series chart about the spi on other things we can do okay uh, I, 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 um, am i supposed to send it now or later sir okay you can send me in no problem i will try to show the result first then if mm -hmm. it then i also try to uh, I, no. later sir because i will i need to ask it from my partner, from my partner pa. the, okay no, no problem you talk and then we discuss okay okay no problem okay okay, okay thank you okay okay thank you you can send me then i will check it okay 